Hi, and thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. My name's Levi, and I will be presenting a short overview of how to send faxes on the Concord network using your email client. In this example, I will be using Microsoft Outlook 2013, but the process works exactly the same whether you're using a webmail product or even something like Lotus Notes. Sending a fax by email is probably the easiest of all submission methods on the Concord network, and it requires absolutely no setup or changes to the user workstation. If you have a Concord fax account, then you're ready to go. I will send faxes just like I would send a new email message. I would start by addressing my fax by the number at concordsend.com. Just like that. I need to be sure to preface my number with a 1 if I am sending within the United States, or use the relevant country code of the international destination that I want to send the fax to. For example, 44 would be the preface for faxes destined for the UK. Then I simply attach my document, or documents, to the email message. Here I am going to attach a Word document, but the Concord Network supports just about any file format that you would expect to see in an office environment. I can now type a message into the body of the email, which would be inserted into the Notes and Subjects section of my default cover sheet. My fax is now ready to be sent. I could simply press the Send button of the email to submit my fax, but before I do that, I'm going to show you a few advanced options. These advanced options are entered into the subject line of the email message. If, for example, I wanted to override the default cover page associated with my account and use an alternative cover sheet, I could simply type the name of that cover sheet in brackets prefaced by the percent sign. There are many of these commands available that could, for example, enable you to capture additional billing information, information about the facts, or even delay the transmission until later in the day. Please refer to the user guide for more information on these commands. But remember that using any of these advanced commands are completely optional. For my demonstration here, I'm going to remove this command and simply send the fax. That message is now being sent as a secure email from my corporate email server to the Concord system, where the fax is being compiled, my attachments are being converted to faxable images, and being appended to a cover sheet containing the subject and notes that I included in my email message. I will receive notification about my fax transmissions as emails in just a few moments. And there we go. In this example, I have set my account to notify me when my fax job is received by the Concord network and queued up for sending, and then notify me again of when the job was successfully sent. If the number that I'm faxing to is busy, the Concord network would automatically retry the fax until it is successful. If the fax failed for any reason, then I would see detailed information about the error right here in the body of the email notification message. As you've seen, it really couldn't be easier to send faxes using the Concord Cloud Network. Thanks for watching this short video tutorial, and please be sure to check back to concordfax.com forward slash video to see additional video tutorials.